I really hope you've written something a bit like this, because this is my program that plays Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Pretty straightforward, we're just playing lots of notes in the key of C major. So we go through the notes of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and that gives us our tune. So my program sounds something like this. Really what I've got here is a set of instructions that would work not only for Sonic Pi or the computer when it's playing this melody, but it's also really a set of instructions that I'd have to give myself if I was going to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the piano. I'd need to start on the note of C and then play another C after having waited a certain amount of time and then wait another little bit of time and then play a G, then another G and then an A and then an A and then a G. And I'd also have to wait a little bit longer after the G at the end of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because the rhythm, if you're writing this out, would be crotchets and then for the G at the end of the first line it would be a minim. So we need a little bit more time uh, between the G at the end of the first line and the F at the beginning of the second line. And that's why we need to write sleep two. I guess we could have written sleep one twice, but the nice thing about sleep is we can put any number after that instruction and it will stop the program running for the number of beats that we write. So this is pretty exciting stuff. We can basically get the computer to play anything we want. My one criticism, I guess, of my Twinkle Twinkle Little Star melody is that it's a bit slow. I'm used to singing it a little bit faster than this. Unfortunately, we can use something very simple to tell the computer, tell Sonic Pi, that we want to use a slightly different tempo in our piece. When we turn on Sonic Pi and start writing programs, the default tempo is 60 beats per minute. And that can be really useful for lots of musical applications because 60 beats per minute means one beat every second. And so if you need to do maths in your head to work out how you want to structure your music in terms of actual time, 60 BPM could be really good. But sometimes we need the BPM to be a bit faster, we want to use a faster tempo. So we can do that and we can change the tempo of our music by writing in the command use underscore BPM and then writing a number. So let's say, to make it simple, I want to increase the tempo of my music to 120 beats per minute. If I write that in, use BPM 120, that's going to double the tempo of the music. And so now every beat doesn't last for one second, it lasts for half a second. If I run the program now, you'll hear that the tempo has got twice as fast and it'll sound a bit more like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as we normally hear it. There's just one more thing that I want to introduce you to in this lesson, and that is the fact that Sonic Pi comes bundled with a load of really nice synthesizers that can make a whole range of different sounds. So when we're writing melodies and other things in Sonic Pi, we don't just have to have them play always with that kind of beepy, bloopy type sound that we're getting at the moment. That sound is okay, and it might be useful for some things, but it might be that we want a different sound in our music. And so to change the synthesizer that Sonic Pi is using to play this melody, we can use the command use underscore synth and then write a colon. And as we said before, when we put the colon in, that's just sort of telling Sonic Pi that we want to refer to something that it knows about. And what's really nice is it's giving us a list here. This is drop down menu that just magically appears is giving us a list of all the possible things that we can write after use synth. So if I pick a different one, if I say pick saw, which is a certain type of synthesizer, it uses a sawtooth wave instead of a sine wave uh, to make the sound happen. I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail about synthesizers, but let's just say this is a different sounding instrument to what we had before. If I hit play now, we'll get the same melody at the same tempo, but it'll sound quite different. I might come back to talk about the different synthesizers you have access to in Sonic Pi in due course, but for now I think it would be much better for you to go and play around with this use synth command and see what different synthesizers sound like and see which ones are your favourites and maybe some that you might want to use in compositions in the future. So you go ahead and do that and then I will see you for something completely different in the next video.